Manipulating, accessing, and subsetting data frames deserves its own video because there are so many ways to slice and dice your data. In terms of the basics, everything is pretty much the same as accessing elements in a matrix. You can use the brackets to select rows and columns from your data frame. Here we are selecting rows 3 through 6 of that. One thing to look out for is the simplification that happens when you select a single column. Selecting the first three rows of just a payment column simplifies the result into a vector. If you want to keep this as a data frame, you just need to add drop equals f or false inside the brackets. A common manipulation with data frames is to select an entire column to work with. This happens so often that it has its own shortcut. Typing in the name of a data frame followed by a dollar sign and then the name of the column you are after allows you a clean way to return just that information. Here we are selecting just a payment column of the data frame. Again, be aware that R has simplified the result to a vector. When you want to create more complex subsets or a subset on a condition, the next step up is to use the subset function. For example, what if you wanted to look at just Dan's debt to total it up? You could use the brackets to select just rows 1 through 3, but this is not very robust against any changes to the dataset. A better way to do this is to use subset to tell R that you just want the rows of depth where name equals Dan. The double equal sign there is known as a relational operator and will be covered fully in the next course Intermediate R for Finance. However, for this example, its intention should be pretty intuitive. We can also subset on numeric columns. To just see rows where payment equals $100, you would do the following. One of the coolest things about this form is that the code is readable from left to right in plain English. You want to subset the debt data frame where payment equals 100. This makes it much easier for others to understand your code. That's all for now. Go try out your new skills on manipulating data frames.